going to be Saudi Arabia's first car. Saudi Arabia usually gives a lot of money. I think they gave $20 million for this. Like, is this really a $20 million main car? Alright, last night Dana White made some announcements, some major announcements regarding the UFC Saudi Arabia card. And guys, you guys already know what the deal is. The main event was announced. Robert Whitaker is going to be facing off against Hamza Chamayev in a number one contenders fight, right? That means that the winner of this fight will definitely face the winner of whoever Drugus Duplessis fights next for the title. Now, we still don't know who Drugus Duplessis is going to fight now. It has been assumed by a lot of people that it's going to be Israel Adesanya. That is what I think will most likely happen, but it is a realistic possibility that Sean Strickland could get an immediate rematch. Seeing that, I think most people would have thought that Robert Whitaker was gonna fight Sean Strickland next. We don't know, and I want to discuss all that as well as some confusion with the co-main event. A lot of people pointing out, hey, Alexander Volkov was scheduled to fight Jalton Almeida. What's going on with that, guys? I got the answers. We're also gonna look at what the card looks like so far, and I'm gonna talk about my prediction for the main event, at least what I'm thinking so far. But before we get into all that already, guys, the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. We're almost at 12k, guys. All you guys gotta do is hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit the notification bell. It helps the algorithm so much. It helps share the video and help share it to all other MMA fans to help spread my channel and gets it bigger. I appreciate all the support, guys. Make sure you hey, guys hit the link in the description to join the Discord server right now. So, guys, let's get into it, guys. Last night, Dana White made an announcement on his Twitter account saying, hey, guys, he has announced the UFC Saudi Arabia. The main event is going to be Hamza Chamaya versus Robert Whitaker. Robert Whitaker coming off of a win against Paulo Costa it was a very close fight, sort of. Paulo Costa had a lot of success. It was a very fun fight, while Hamza Chamaya is coming off of that win against Kamaru Usman. That was very controversial, in my opinion. I I thought Kamar Usman won the fight. That was just my scoring. I don't think that round one was actually a 10-8. And this is a big deal because this is the first top five opponent that Hamza Chmaev is going to face at the 185 pound division. Usman is very good, but Usman at the end of the day was a welterweight on 10 days notice. This is going to be a Robert Whitaker training for Hamza Chmaev, training for wrestling who has a wrestling background. This is a tough matchup for Hamza. And right now I'm going to take a look at the full card so we can see what fights are on the card so far. And I'm going to also give some of my thoughts on some of the fights that are on the main card. Let's take a look at it right now. But yeah, Robert Whitaker, Hamza Chmaev. This is going to be happening June 22nd, 2024. As we know, this is going to be Saudi Arabia's first car. Now, I want to get into that at the end of this video about Saudi Arabia because Saudi Arabia, I mean, we've seen the fights that these guys have been putting on, especially in boxing. These guys have been getting the elite of the elite in the boxing ring. And look, although this is a good card and this is a good card for a fight night, this to me isn't anything special. This is the normal, you know, Paris card where we have a pretty good fight night main event. I really don't think this is extraordinarily crazy. It's a great card and I'm grateful for it. Don't get me wrong. But when you're comparing it to Apex cards, yes, it's amazing, but compared to other fight nights with crowds, I don't know, guys. I mean, Saudi Arabia usually gives a lot of money. I think they gave $20 million for this. Like, is this really a $20 million main card? It's not my concern. I'm not Saudi Arabia. I'm not paying for it. I actually talked about it in my last video some of their business practices and said, hey, how I actually don't think it's going to make them any money. But I'm just curious, is Saudi Arabia going to be happy with the card so far? Is this good enough to their standard? There was talks of that March card getting canceled because Saudi Arabia did not like the card. But let's take a look at some of the fights now. Alright, so open up with the main card, Kelvin Gaslam, Daniel Rodriguez, Kelvin Gaslam going back at Walter Wade, trying to get a win. Obviously, lost to Sean Brady last time. Now, the Bullet versus Ihor Pretoria. Now, everyone knows Ihor Pretoria, right? I mean, this guy is the biggest old man beater of all time, emoting on Shogun Rua in his retirement fight. And yeah, the Bullet, this is a big fight from Undefeated, and I'm curious if he's ever going to fight in the U.S. with that whole eye situation, but I'm excited for this fight, too. Johnny Walker, Vulcan Uzumi are a very fun fight, too. Obviously, Johnny Walker coming off the loss to Magomed on Kalaya. And yeah, that's a good fight for Johnny Walker to get back in to the top 10 if he's able to win. And also Volkan Uzumir, that's a big name for him to beat. Azrod Hakbarov versus Jared Gordon is a fight that I didn't even realize was happening, to be honest. But yeah, this is a banger fight too. I'm actually really excited for that one. That honestly, I might be more excited than any of these other fights for that fight. But the co-main event, now this one has scratched a lot of heads. Sergei Pavlovich is back after that brutal knockout loss to Tom Aspinall. And he's going to be fighting Alexander Volkov. Now I have to see who Alexander Volkov last fought, if I'm going to be honest. Damn, I didn't realize. Damn, he's been out for a while, man. He's been out since September. I felt like he fought more recent than that. But yeah, he's going to be back against Sergei Pavlovich. And yeah, this is an interesting fight. I mean, obviously, I think the height advantage is in Alexander Volkov's favor. I mean, he's very tall. Sergei Pavlovich obviously has knockout power. A lot of his fights, I mean, if you look at his record, like, let's take a look at this thing. I mean, most of his fights, you see, like, ending in the first round, round one, round one, round one, round one. I mean, seriously, I mean, he only has one decision win. And outside of that, all of his fights have ended in the first round, even his losses. And a lot of people I've been talking about on Twitter, hey, wasn't Alexander Volkov supposed to fight Jalton Almeida? Guys, it was announced earlier yesterday that Jalton Almeida was going 
going to fight Alexander Volkov at UFC 303 in New Jersey, and it seemed like that was the matchup, and I thought, hey, that's a pretty quick turnaround for Jalton Almeida. Jalton Almeida just coming off of a loss to Curtis Blades just a couple weeks ago. A lot of people have been saying, was this misinformation? Was this a lie? Well, one of the most reliable fight announcers on Twitter right now actually announced himself and clarified the situation. I trust his word, Big Marcel. If you guys are anywhere near MMA Twitter, you guys know Big Marcel. I mean, the guy's always shouting out fights. Shout out to him. He actually gave us some clarity on the situation when he tweeted out this. The earlier announced fight between Volkov and Almeida was 100% legit, I got told. UFC made a switch. Almeida is expected to remain on UFC 302, new opponent to be announced, which is extremely weird because they literally just announced this the day before. So clearly there must have been some last minute switch up. I mean, I don't know what's going on. So the UFC, I have no idea how they announce these fights. I feel like, like literally, I've said this multiple times on the channel. They just make one call and they're like, you know what? We want this fight done. And they, they get it done that morning. I don't know what's going on. And they haven't failed me. Even though I do feel like this, UFC 300 is this pretty stacked card. So just to clarify, Jelton Almeida versus Alexander Volkov is off. This is the fight that's going to happen. Sergey Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov. And Jelton Almeida is going to be fighting someone in the heavyweight division. I'm sure they'll determine that soon. Maybe Marcin Tibera since he's coming off of a win against Tai Tuivasa. I mean, I find when Volkov is in a situation where he knows he doesn't have to grapple, he is very good. I mean, we've seen some of his best performances. I mean, you look at the fight with Jarzina Rosenstrike, he got a first round knockout. Even Tai Tuivasa, he did very good. He even submitted Tai Tuivasa. I mean, usually when he has those types of matchups, he's very good. And I think this could be a situation where we see an upset by Alexander Volkov. I think a lot of people will pick Sergei Pavlovich. I'm not sure who I'm going to pick right now, but it is a close matchup. But to talk about the main event, Robert Whitaker versus Hamza Chemaev. Now, this is a fight that I've wanted for a while. I thought that they were going to go with the Paulo Costa matchup because of the bad blood, and honestly, because Paulo Costa seems more easier of a matchup. But I think this is an incredibly hard matchup for Hamza Chemaev, and if he wins, this is, adds a lot of credibility to Hamza Chemaev because the guy has been getting disrespected by me, of course, too. Like, I've been showing him some disrespect. I've been taking my digs at Hamza saying he's not fighting anybody. He would shut all of us up. He would shut me up, shut everybody up. If he goes out there and dominates Robert Whitaker, hell, he even just beats Robert Whitaker, I think he gets some praise. Robert Whitaker is legit. Robert Whitaker is really big. Robert Whitaker has talked about fighting at 205. He's a strong guy, and so is Hamza Chemaev. They both have wrestling backgrounds. I would say Hamza Chemaev is probably the better wrestler, but this is MMA, and you don't need to have a better wrestling pedigree than someone else to stay on the feet, right? You just need better takedown defense. We can see a situation where Hamza Chemaev gets tired in the first round, and then Robert Whitaker from 2 to 5 is just dominating him. I mean, he looked very good in that Paulo Costa fight. Robert Whitaker has been looking legit. I mean, I think this is a good matchup. It's a really fun fight. I think that Robert Whitaker is going to win, guys. I'm just saying it right now. I think we're going to see Hamza Chemaev take his first L. I think if Hamza Chemaev fights Robert Whitaker the way he's fought everybody else as of late, he is going to lose. He needs to really switch up his style. I think he needs to mix in the takedowns, be a little bit more intelligent with that. But I think we're going to see Robert Whitaker get the win here. I think Robert Whitaker is going to be able to defend early. I think we're going to see him with the strikes be very fast with that bouncy movement, be very hard to get a hold of. And as of right now, I got Robert Whitaker, guys, and I'm excited for this matchup. And like I said, is this a Saudi Arabia level card, guys? I'm not sure. I think that Saudi Arabia paying 20 million. I expected there to be a title fight, to be honest. I expected maybe a main event with Islam Makachev and someone else, a co-main event with Hamza Chemaev and Robert Whitaker, perhaps, and then maybe a mid undercard. Honestly, that's what I was expecting when I heard about this card, but it just doesn't seem like that's the case, guys. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys think this is worth a 20 million dollar card? If you're Saudi Arabia and you're giving the UFC 20 million, is this worth it? Is this the product that you guys are expecting? Let me know in the comment section below. And before we wrap up this video, I want to read some of the top comments of the last video. If you guys missed it, I made a dream UFC London card. All right, Dana White announced that he's going to have UFC London. It's going to be a pay-per-view. It's going to be in July. I made my dream pay-per-view card. Some of you guys agreed. Some of you guys thought I was a little out there. You guys know what I mean if you guys saw the video. And let's read some of the top comments now. I think if the event is in July, Makayev should get the title shot. I mean, yeah, three months is a short turnaround, but totally possible. I don't think that this is going to be the case, guys, because if they really wanted Muhammad Makayev to get a title shot, they would have gave him it for Brazil. They would have gave him it at UFC 301, but they clearly want more out of Muhammad Makayev, and I suspect they're going to try to make a Brandon Roy Val versus Muhammad Makayev matchup. I think he should have gotten the title shot instead of Steve Ursic. I know that it's a hot take against some of you guys. I think it's a more marketable fight, number one. I think he probably deserves it a little bit more. I understand Ursic has had some good performances lately, but Makayev did beat Alex Perez with food poisoning and things like that, so I do think he kind of deserved it a little bit. MVP versus Wonderboy would be an exciting matchup, too. Yeah, I was thinking this after. I saw some comments like this pointing this out. That would have been a good matchup to add, but I did think about that at one point. I said no because MVP and Wonderboy both have talked about not wanting to fight each other, both being friends and things like that. And MVP has even said that he thinks it's going to be a boring fight. Last comment I want to read. They about to give us UK fans the most expensive tickets going. Definitely 500 pounds for a nosebleed ticket. That is absolutely insane. I've heard that the UFC has absolutely destroyed the UK fans with these prices. I can't relate, but I do want to bring up a little story here. Back in November, I went to UFC. I went to the UFC in MSG in New York. And if you guys remember, it was John Jones versus Stipe 
Mio chicken. I bought the tickets. They were a bit pricey because of John Jones. And of course, John Jones pulled out. And these tickets dropped like crazy, guys. I was so upset. Like, literally, like the tickets dropped below 50%. Like, I had already bought these tickets. And yeah, so I paid all that to see John Jones and he didn't even fight. So I was happy with the card. Don't get me wrong. I just wish I would have gotten a discounted ticket. But yeah, UFC, I mean, these guys need to go to stadiums. We, we need to get cheaper tickets. And that's just that. Thank you guys for watching that video. It was going to be on the screen. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, commenting, and all of that, guys. I seriously cannot thank you guys enough. You guys have been showing me so much love this past few weeks. Make sure to check the link in the description. That is my Discord server. Join the Discord server, guys, so you guys can have conversation with us there. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best fan base in MMA, and I'll see you guys in the next one.